Well, hey guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, happy Tuesday, I guess it is for you guys. It's Monday for me, so this is going out very soon. And this one's slightly different to usual because rather than doing one episode where I do like a whole thing in one day, this episode is going to be a look back at my last week because I've done a lot of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I figured that rather than try and make one video for each one, bang it all into this edit and you guys can enjoy three days worth of content in one sitting. Um, but first, before I do that, I have somebody that I need you to meet. Diesel! Come here! Come say hi to everyone. Well, everyone, I'd like to meet Diesel. Diesel is my new dog. Aren't you, mate? Hey? Uh, meet everybody. Diesel, meet everybody. Look, they're, no, they're here, look. They're here. Say hi to everybody. So, Diesel is a rescue, and I got him a week ago. Uh, he is a Belgian Malinois Husky mix, they think but I have ordered a genetic test so that I can actually find out exactly what he is. They also think he's anywhere between like one and two and a half. They did his age by his teeth the first time they got him um, and he went to the vet and the vet said that he looked about two and a half, but then they cleaned his teeth and then they look really good. So now they're not sure. Now they think he might be a pup, but either way, he's still a young one and he is an absolute sweetheart. I got him from um, Morongo, Morongo Valley Basin or Morongo Basin No-Kill Animal Shelter. Um, they took him in from a kill animal shelter, which unfortunately means that if the dogs aren't rehomed within a certain amount of time, they have to euthanize them because they just, my uh, laundry is done. Um, they have to euthanize them because there is just uh, no space. So it's awful. It's great that they can at least help the dogs out for a short amount of time. But then you get places like the shelter I got him from who really step up take the dogs on that uh, otherwise would have been euthanized and then rehome them with people like me. Um, and so he is just an absolute sweetheart. Um, you're a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy? Yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, so his story is unknown. Um, they found him as a stray. At some point he's been shot with an air rifle because he has the pellet still lodged in his shoulder. So he's had a bit of a rough start to life. Um, and when we first got there, he was super timid, wouldn't come near us, was pacing up and down, trying to escape out of his run. Like it was, it was bad. I genuinely wasn't sure if he was gonna be the right dog for, for us. But actually we took him out on a little walk around the car park. And he changed. As soon as we got him out of the shelter and out of that kind of stressful environment, he totally changed. Um, and so I was like, look, do you know what? No dog is going to be perfect. Um, they're all going to need a little bit of work, especially... Bye then. You done? You done seeing it? I'm telling everybody about you and you can't even be bothered to come and stay here. Come on. Thank you. Thanks. Just come stay here so that there's some context to this and I'm not just talking about a dog that isn't present. I agreed to foster him uh, just to kind of see how things went. As soon as we got him back, the very first day, we drove him to Costco, uh, not Costco, Petco. <laughs> All right, wasn't that funny? We drove him to Petco and uh, got him some new toys and uh, got him a new collar. So he's got this cool little collar. And yeah, basically just exposed him to things that he had never been exposed to before. We took him to the ocean. He saw the ocean for the first time, actually went swimming, wasn't scared at all, which is amazing. And that's been a running theme with him is that he just doesn't seem to be scared of anything. Nothing really phases him. He's a bit timid around people and certain people he won't really go around. But if he's been shot with an air rifle, I wouldn't want to go around people either. Um, so, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to do a video. Can you stay here, please? Can you stay here, please? Thanks. Um, so yeah, he's been shot with an air rifle and obviously that would uh, stop me from wanting to go around people too. But he just really kind of took to me very quickly and now he's like my little shadow. I've had him for a week and I can already walk him off his lead without worrying about him running off. He doesn't wander very far and if he does, he comes straight back. So he's just been an absolute delight and this is only one week in. So I've no idea how good he's going to be in the next two or three months. Uh, we've got some work to do on basic commands that he doesn't really seem to want to do. Um, but things like when we walk up the street and I get him to the side of the curb and tell him to wait, he'll wait. And then I say cross and then he crosses. So he does all of these things that I want him to do, but there are just the things like sit, down, pour, shake, like that kind of stuff that I would like him to be comfortable with as well. But that's the, that's the small stuff. All of the big stuff like does he run away? Is he nice around people and dogs? Like he's just such a little sweetheart. So 
Couldn't be more happy with you, could we, mate? And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going on lots of adventures with him and bringing him to this channel so that you guys can enjoy him too. But this is Diesel, and he is kind of a bad he will be a badass eventually he's a little bit of a wimp sometimes now but he's awesome and i already absolutely love him to bits anyway carrying on with this episode the first thing that i want to show you guys is the watch giveaway that i did with panzera watches uh when i picked the winner and looked at the address to ship the the watch to i actually realized that he was only an hour away from me here in orange county he was up the other side of la and so i was like well rather than ship it if it's that you know that short of a distance i may as well just go up there and hand deliver it so i did that i took it up and actually hand delivered it to the winner which was awesome it was so nice to actually like meet him in person and be able to say here you go and see that expression on his face when he got it so uh, check out that footage. I'll roll on that right now. All righty, well, this is it. This is the moment of truth. I am about to give away the Panzera watch and I'm actually hand delivering it because the winner was only about an hour away from where I live. So that's what we're doing right now. Oh my God, this is for real. This is for real. Yeah, I can't I, believe that. I'll give you a coronavirus fist bump. How you doing? Oh my God, I got cooties now. <laughs> right? Hey, we got haircut the same. We do, we have matching haircuts. Oh my God. There you go, sir. Congratulations. I can't believe that this is a, <laughs> this is like I when I entered the contest I go, nah, I'm not gonna win. I'm just gonna enter. Right. And now I'm um, hand delivering it for you. Oh my god, just take a look, it. take a look, see what you think. Just like <laughs> just like it was on the video. Dude, that's awesome. Oh my god, this that's is like cool. special delivery. Exactly, yeah. Well that's the thing, is like when I saw where you were where your address, it was like an hour. And so I'm like, why am I gonna mail it? Oh my god. There you go. Beautiful. That looks good, mate. That looks really good. Now I, oh, <laughs> I feel special. Dude, you are special. You are special. And well, thank you so much. For no, the thank you for everything you do, man. It's like I've been watching you from the very beginning. And oh yeah. It's kind of weird talking with this mask on. I know. But... I know it sucks, but we got to do it. We have got to be safe, right? We have got to be safe. But no, seriously, thank you so much for entering and for the support. Yeah. Um, I don't. You wanted a two X hoodie or T-shirt. Uh, t-shirt 2x t-shirt so i don't have any 2x's in stock That's but cool. i will i will definitely get you as soon as they're back in stock i'll yeah. get you them in fact let me see bear with me one second okay. one second <laughs> so i don't i don't have a 2x but i have a an xl do you want to see if that will work sure huh? see if if you, if you think it'll nah, work I'll fit, I'm, I'm gonna work out and fit it yeah <laughs> well, there you go that's the deal but look if you want a uh, 2x just hit me up and I'll send you out a 2x. Woo right. My life is now just being covered in dog hair. That, that's it. I'm just constantly, constantly having to defer myself. Um, and Rumba has been put through the ringer. And so it's, <laughs> we need multiple. We do. We need a, a flock of Rumbas. Is that what you call it? Like multiple vacuums? Like robotic? A, a flock? Yeah. A flock of Rumbas? Yeah. Okay. So uh, Rumba, company that makes iRobot iRobot? I, whoever makes Roombas, uh, P.O. Box 414, Corona Del Mar, California, 92625. Send me a flock of Roombas, please. I need them for the new house. After I gave the watch to the guy, the following day, I actually went diving for the first time here at my local beach. I've been wanting to do it since I moved in, but haven't had the opportunity. And so as soon as the weather looked good and I had the time, I got on the phone to my friend Bree, who I dive with out here. She actually showed me one of the first spots I ever dived here in Laguna. Uh, I called her up, she came over, and we went for a little dive. The visibility wasn't great, but it's always fun to get in the water, and the water was actually really nice. I just wore a rash vest and shorts, and it was perfect. Perfect. So check out that right now. What's up guys? So down the beach with my buddy Bree. Um, she's the first person that I dived with out here. She showed me uh, the spot down the street, Shores Cove. And today we are at my local beach and we're gonna go and check it out. Visibility was pretty good this morning. Uh, it's kind of so-so now this afternoon, but we're gonna try. I am wearing the Jacob, so we'll see if it survives. And uh, yeah, this is my first time in the water this year. And I can't wait. Alrighty. We've got a bit of chop, but who knows? Whoa, that goes deep. And there's rocks. All right. Whoa. Okay, good. Let's see, that's the cold bit done. All right, so this is actually on top of my mat. So I'm gonna put this on, and then we'll be... <laughs>
little window liquor. Do you want a baby drop on it and see? There she goes. What is it? Is that a Yeah. Visibility wasn't very good. So we're gonna go and try the next two to one. See how we do that. Fuck, that was brutal. I thought that one when I was underwater, I was like, oh, like, oh. That one dragged me over the top of a rock twice. No. And I like... Did you get cut up? No, no, I, I managed to skim over the top oh, of it. Okay. But I like, it pulled me over once and I was like, wow, that sucks. Here's another one. I lost my knife. Really? Yeah. Probably back over there, huh? Yeah, I bet. Do you want to look for it? No. Fuck it. That's sketchy over there. You never know you can find it one day. Yeah. One time I went diving with my dad. You know the montage in the Guinea Beach? Yeah. I took him diving there and he lost his skin. And like two weeks later I went diving by myself in Crescent Bay. Uh-huh. And I'm like swimming and I saw something like shining under the water. And I was like, no way. See dad's fin? I swam down it with my dad's fin. And how far from where he lost it was it? Like a mile, mile and a half. That's crazy. I was like, what are the chances? Oh yeah, there we go. Everybody go follow Brie on Instagram. I'll link her stuff below. She's got some nice diving stuff. Your Hawaii diving pictures oh, are incredible. Thank you. Yeah, Brie used to, uh, sorry if I've got snot on my face. <laughs> Brie used to live in Hawaii. So, uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. A lot less murky and a lot less this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. We'll be back with more diving content. Definitely do some more, but not today.
then from going in the water, we decided yesterday to go on a little boat trip on the water and we rented a Duffy, which is this like little electric boat that you can just putt around the marina on. So we went down to Newport Harbor, rented one. It was like $200 for two hours. Uh, they can take up to, I think eight or 12 people. Uh, it was just me, KT and the dog. So we just cruised around, but super cost effective. If you guys ever want to bring a group of friends and come and try it out, because it's a lot of fun. You can take dogs, you can take beers, just yeah, as long as the person driving isn't drinking. And yeah, it was just a really fun time. So it was his first time checking out the ocean uh, from that perspective. He swam in it and he's looked at it from afar. We wanted to see how he did in a boat. And now that he's kind of getting to be like this little beach dog, we gotta make sure he's a well-rounded canine. And of course, he took it in his stride wasn't phased by it. I think, in fact, he fell asleep at one point. Uh, yeah, he just had a great time. Uh, one sketchy moment where he kind of put one paw over and I was like, oh God, am I going to have to go swimming with my dog? Uh, but no, he just chilled out and it was great fun. So check out that. Well, ahoy there, mates, and welcome to me old poop deck. I think, is that what, is that what captains <laughs> what? say? I think that's what, I think that's what boatists say. Um, we are currently boatists. See, look, we are, we are boating. I don't know what's happening here. Seems like a good place to try and turn around. Got some, see there's amateur boaters over there. And they mate, hey? Amateur boaters. So yeah, we're just out on the uh, the old Duffy. So these are like little electric boats that you can rent. Uh, if you watched the second episode that I ever put out, then I actually went out on Nick's Duffy and um, Chris jumped off that bridge, I believe, or a bridge very much like it. Okay, send it. Chris call stunts, y'all. Go for it! Yeah! <laughs> so we decided that we were gonna rent it. It's a nice Sunday afternoon. It's like 200 bucks for two hours. So me, Kaylin Taylor, and the doggo are out. This is his first time on a boat. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? He loves it. Um, so yeah, no plans really. Um, Katie's got a stack of Trulies. I have some sparkling water. And we're just gonna live up the old boat life. Our me hearties. Is that not, I thought that's how they spoke. Is that not how all captains speak? No? Okay. Great. All right, well, I'm enjoying it. What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? What do you think? I swear to God, I swear to dog, this is the easiest dog that I've ever had. He is just so, like, malleable. He just, you take him to the beach and he goes in the ocean and isn't scared of it the very first time. We took him again yesterday and he just came in swimming. Not a problem at all, chasing his ball around. You bring him on a boat and he just lies down and just has a great time. Like he is just, nothing phases him. He's, he's timid, like people make him nervous and he stays away, but loud noises, he'll jump, but then he'll go back and want to sniff it. Like, you're just such a good boy, aren't you? Hey, you're just such a good boy. We've had him uh, eight days. Today is a week and one day. And already he's like glued to my side, goes everywhere I go, doesn't run off. I can have him off leash and he doesn't do anything. Just, yeah, awesome, absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to see how he is when we start going on some like proper adventures. All right, we're on a Duffy right now, but I'm working my way up to one of these. That's the dream. Upgrade the Duffy slowly until it turns into a 60 foot mega yacht. Wait, no, 60 feet is the mega yacht, is it? Mega yachts are like 100, 200 foot. All right, well, one of those anyway. <laughs> Do it again. Arr, so here's me treasure map. This is where we started. And we're gonna do this loop all the way around. Actually, I would like to go to here. Oh, it says, oh, do not go, okay. Well, I would like to go this way around here because this is Balboa Island and we walk the dog around here and it's beautiful. So it would be nice to go and explore some of this because this little walkway here has some gorgeous houses on it. But this is the map. This is where we can go. Do I go this way or this way? Um, that way, because that way would take us around to a one-way thingy. So we go that way. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum and dog biscuits for me. Apparently, if you own a Duffy, the rule is you have to call it something like witty and electric related. So we've got, um, what was that one? What something? It was like, what 
what worries or something w-a-t-t -T. i saw one earlier not for sale s-a-i-l um it's basically like you know when you see those tesla owners and they've got a license plate that's like no gas or like gas lol and stuff like that that's what you have to do with these boats it has to be cool i would want one of these and then i'd want to convert it with like a diesel motor and <laughs> just have like a little tiny thing with like a hoofing great big diesel in it. <laughs> they're actually quite nice aren't they they're quite fun oh here he comes here he comes oh hello 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 what he smelled my lunch what do you think tell everybody what you think of the uh the boats you like it uh, no i told you he likes the water get that pour down thank you i need one of these a little ocean trampoline all right then let's see what this baby's got <laughs> See it wide open. Suspension feels a bit, a bit loose. I think the steering box needs sorting out. Let's test the brakes. Brakes are pretty good. Try not to kill these paddle boarders. So those buckets that they put on the back is to stop the seals from jumping up or the sea lions or whatever jumping up on the back. I saw a boat the other day, I was like, why have they got all those ugly Home Depot buckets on the back of their beautiful boat? And now I've just figured it out. They've got them full of sand or rocks or whatever and they put them up there to stop the, uh, the sea lions from jumping up and just lounging on the back of the boat. Okay, I think this is as far as we can go because that right there is the open ocean and this right here is a boat that is not made for the open ocean. So I think we just turn around and then cruise on back. It's, I, I like that it's kind of lawless. You just come out here and drive around wherever you want to go and they didn't ask if we had any kind of experience. It was just like, yep, yeah, that's forward, that's back. Like, have fun, stay away from the big boats and the sharks. Like, it's cool, I like it. Diesel Dog is completely unfazed by the whole experience, but we're all having a good time anyway. So there's this huge seal and this is why they put the buckets on the back of the boat. <laughs> i tell you what, some of these houses are wild. Like, look at this place. Look at that. Huge dock view of this. Uh, why anyone would want to live in Beverly Hills when you can get places like this is just beyond me. This is awesome. I've never, I've seen these from the other side. I've never seen them from the water before. So seeing them like this is so amazing. Even the smaller places, like I would take one of the little cottages, honestly. It's just awesome to see these, uh, these big mega mansions from the back. What do you think, bud? Which one do you want to live in? So I'm just looking for boats in my price range right now because obviously now I want a boat. Um, so I was looking at these ones and I just, I don't think I can quite stretch to it. But um, this one, this one looks more like it. So here's a bit of trivia for you. Right here, this house is the former house of John Wayne and next door to it, which we can't see, is the former house of Nicolas Cage. So yeah, that right there, that's where John Wayne used to live. That's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Nicholas Cage's house is next door to it. How awesome. Is my week that is what i've been up to this week among some other things that weren't really worthy of doing a video of um so yeah it's been a great time oh i'm talking of things that i've been doing that aren't worthy of videos if you're wondering why i've got this like weird like gang member like l l 
Is that it? And that... What? Am I not street? Not street. Yo, man. Streets. I'm in the pink club. Whatever. What's the pink... What's Fuchsia. The... Fuchsia. Fuchsia crew. Yo, if you want to be in the Fuchsia crew, then you've got to do an initiation, which is adopting a dog. So if you've adopted a dog, then you can be in my Fuchsia... Stop. Fuchsia crew. Okay, fine. Anyway, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing this, uh, I went and uh, had to have my blood taken today because of my blood thing that I've got going on that I spoke about in the last video. Um, but while I was there, they were saying that they are desperately looking for people who have had coronavirus, who have the antibodies, who they can then use their plasma to treat current patients that have coronavirus. So if you have had the antibody test and you have at some point had coronavirus, like a couple of my friends have, then I would definitely recommend you go down and you donate blood. It doesn't hurt. I have to have this done every week. I have a pint of blood taken once a week. It's really a doddle. You go in, you sit down, they stick you, they take your blood 15 minutes later, it's done. It doesn't hurt. It's like a little pinch and then that's it. And then 50 minutes later, they give you a little carton of apple juice and a cookie. It's great. They're, well, I don't know where you'll be going, but certainly the ladies that do mine are awesome. So we just have a good chat. And it really is a very positive, very easy experience. Uh, and it's something that can save lives and really help others. So if you haven't, and also just donate blood anyway, regardless of whether you have the antibodies, it's a good thing to do. And if you're worried and scared about it, you thought that, you know, it might be painful or whatever, trust me, it's not. I've been, so did you know that today was my 16th uh, week? 16th? So I've been going for 16 weeks, once a week, every Monday. So uh, yeah, I've done it 16 times this year. So you guys can do it once every six months or every 12 months. It really helps. So yeah, do that, save a life, be a good person. Also adopt a dog if you can. Remember a dog is for life, not just because Adam told you on YouTube. So if you are gonna adopt a dog, then make sure that it's something that you are in for the long run because you don't wanna pull a dog out of a shelter and then take them back. But if you are in the position to do so, then you really should because they are amazing. Right, Diesel? We've got to do a sign off. Can we do a sign off? Yeah? All right, so like I said, if you can, do, because it's so rewarding and they are such little sweethearts and we are the only ones that can help them because unfortunately, they can't help themselves, can they, mate? Otherwise, what would you be doing? Would you be a beach dog, do you think? Or would you still be living out in the desert if you could choose? I think it'd be a beach dog. I think he's having a good time. Anyway, guys, that is gonna be it for <laughs> for today's episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, also, if you haven't checked out the Swords clothing line yet, support the channel. Go pick yourself up a t-shirt or a hoodie or something. It really helps me out. Helps keep the wheels rolling on this thing and allowing me to put out content for you guys and also just helps my creativity. I have some cool things coming out very, very soon. I should be able to announce probably next week or if not next week the week after so keep your eyes peeled for that new stuff is hitting the store uh yeah and i guess that's it so until next time guys be good human beings help each other look after dogs do all the things that make this world go around and be a better more friendly happier place and until next time, see ya.